Hello everyone, my name is Corazar, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. This is the first of four episodes of the stream that originally went live on April 6, 2024. I have broken the original video into shorter pieces for people who prefer their YouTube in smaller, bite-sized pieces, because I know a three-hour VOD can be quite intimidating. That being said, I will be putting up a poll in the next couple weeks to get feedback from everyone on whether they would prefer this format or a different one. Anyway, that's enough for me. I hope you enjoy the episode. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Welcome to the inaugural stream of Vintage Story Desert Life. You'll have to imagine a little thing scrolling across the screen with a logo today because I don't have that set up for use in OBS. But here we are in our first world, or not first world, our first episode, first stream. And let's talk a bit about what's going to happen here before we fire up the game. I am actually paused here. I have time set to super duper slow. But uh, this is desert life. As you can see, we're not in a desert at the moment because it is not a desert world only survival in the desert extreme challenge. It is the sort of 10K celebration kickoff stream for a kind of chill building series. I kind of imagine this as being a come as you are, or in my case, come as I am kind of series. I'm not sure how the format will sort of turn out long form for the long term. It might be a kind of thing where I just record for a little while and publish, or if you all really enjoy the stream and if people who watch afterwards like the format, I might turn this into like a regular uh, every couple weeks streaming kind of thing and then publish the videos afterward. So we'll see how it goes. But here we are. There is, if you are, if you've been sitting in the chat for a while, you may need to refresh the page to see it, but I wouldn't worry about it at the moment. There is a world download in the video description. There's also a mod list download. You will need both in order to play in this world. Although I think by and large, this is a mostly vanilla world. There were some mods that I really wanted to use that just didn't pan out very well. Um, so this is a mostly vanilla world. I think the only mod that's really, really necessary would be Vanilla Plus, which modifies the landscape a little bit, but not, not terribly much. Well, everyone, I think without further ado, I'm gonna take one last look up here at the list of people. Welcome, Rakuna. Good to see you. Dorvendor, and who else is here? Creep, welcome Creep, and Fenreliana, welcome to everybody. Let's kick this off. We have a little bit of early game grind to do, and we're going to start this off by switching into survival mode, if I can press the right buttons here. And we're also going to turn the time on. There we go. We are now in game, and... Let's get to work. We have kind of the usual stuff to do. We need to get some sticks, and we need to get some flint. And what do we have? Oh, really? <laughs> we spawned right next to a meteorite that's just sitting out here for us to take, or rather not take, because we don't have anything to uh, dig it up with. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> no sticks from over there, I guess. Any pigs over here? What are you? A drifter already? My goodness. Let's get out of here. This place is dangerous. I should never have been born here. Not in this world. An ice world would have been safer. Hello, chickies. Do you have any sticks for me? Uh, why is it spawning drifters out in the middle of the daylight? And do I want to know why it's doing that? Well, I don't see any sticks in the ground, so let's get some sticks from this tree here. <laughs> I'll mark it eventually. <laughs> oh, I am playing with the color map on, so I just like it more. Um, and I think it'll be more interesting to see our build as it grows up. You know what? I think I won't mock the meteor now. Just kidding, I will. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, you can get large ferns, but you have to have shears to get them. Okay, there's a cow up there. There's... Ooh, there's lead right here. Is he going to get some lead? Mark that. Guess I'll mark the meteor. There we go. And I like a gold star for my fresh meteors. Ow! What do you... Excuse you. What did I ever do to you? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Get... Shoot. I think the desert will be safer than this. Are you still coming after me? You better not be. All right, let's check here. There's no cave here. I think we can nap ourselves a knife. Let's get that knife going on. And nothing else trying to kill me. So let's also get to an axe, I think. It's probably the best option here. So this being my first live stream, I'm not really used to keeping an eyeball on the chat. So if I forget for a while, uh, then sorry, <laughs> it might happen. I, uh, it's a new experience for me. Ooh, here we go. More flint. All right, we got, let's do a second knife because we're going to need a lot of cattails. And where we're going, we don't need roads, but we do need cattails. Uh, find it easy on the map. Um, one, it's experience, and two, uh, I mean, I didn't find it on the map. I looked at it on, like, next to me. But I was looking here, and there's a sort of, like, circle right there. That's how I knew where to put the marker. Oh my gosh. Thank you to Andre Extra La, I can't see the rest of your name, and James Winterbottom. Thank you guys so much. I just saw those tags fly by. But let's go get us some papyrus. And I think I'm going to cut out the roots and bring them with me because where we're going, I don't think there'll be a lot of this to uh, harvest. So it's going to all have to come with us. Uh, setting the map back to the colored one is done at World Gen. And it should be set up, if you download the world file, uh, it should be set up there. You can just tick a box in the customize menu. Um, if you already have a world in progress, there's like a, uh, a world config command you can put into the chat. But yes, it is time for 15 minutes of nothing but cutting reeds. Part of me wonders if I should have turned up the, uh, uh, block break speed. That's pretty cool. I think this world's going to get even cooler, Tricky. I've, uh, I, I do know what's here. And in fact, I have, um, we'll say I have some friends here waiting for us. And we're going to go meet them and hang out with them. Not multiplayer friends, mind you. In-game friends. Hey, Norbix. It is great to have everybody seeing my stream, including you. Let's go get some more reeds down by the river. You could say it's down, down, down by the river. Ooh, that's right. We spawned in a wonderful spot with limestone all around us, among other very excellent resources and feral cows. Uh, nope, not hyper arid. I actually turned the world to hyper arid in a test. Well, I generated a different world where I was hyper arid, and it actually killed all the jungles. Actually, no, I even did a, a regular, like just one step above the regular, and uh, it was very, very dry. <laughs> it's like no purple heart for me. Yep, the papyrus loop is real. I'm probably going to get as many as I can from, like, around this area, and then we'll head off to our eventual destination. There is a reasonable chance I'm going to starve to death before then, though, so you know, we'll see how it goes. Chop, 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 chop. Oh, 
sell my kingdom for like an iron knife. <laughs> yes, this is the blocky version of Conan Exiles. For sure. I'm also wondering how I'm going to uh, handle keeping an eye on the chat and not dying at the same time, because I'm used to recording and talking and playing, which is, you know, takes your attention away from the game a little bit. I've never done streaming before, so I will be curious to see how well or poorly I manage that, and if I'll just run into really stupid things like, you know, caves by accident. What's down here, by the way? Ooh, trouble. We are not ready for that. No siree. Uh, there's no papyrus across that way. I'm going to skirt around here. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes, please. Flint galore. Uh, now, I have Storm's Rifts turned on. Um, it's It'll still be a chill series, I think. I'm not super concerned about rifts and things. I can definitely see how like a new player would really want to turn them off for having a chill experience, but I like the occasional challenge. The occasional brown pants moment to sort of liven up my life. Uh, the stream run from 10 until 1 p.m. Uh, U.S. East time. So we've got about uh, 2 hours and 50 minutes on the clock. <gasps> Are you kidding me? Bees. Guys, bees. That's pretty awesome. Let's not mark them. Just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Get these bees on here. How about not the bees? Hey, angriest boy. I hope you're not too angry today. Welcome. Let's get those bees marked. And how are we doing on papyrus? We're doing pretty well. I'm going to hit these papyrus over here. Oh, there's a jungle with some bamboo over there. I might take some tree seeds if I can get some from like kapok trees and so on. And then we'll head over to the east. Need me some sticks too. Hello, seed. Yeah, Katie, it's kind of like that. Whenever you're looking for something, you'll never find it. But the moment you stop looking, they're everywhere. And the moment you don't need them, they're everywhere. That is just <laughs> how these things go. So we got some baskets going on here. Uh, oh, sweet. We got all four filled out. That is excellent. Let's get some chop chop going. We've got some basically free firewood here, too. So I might uh, just grab some of this while we're here and take a stack. Ish. And another tall one I think should do. Oh wow, thank you, Amy Rays. This is from Chunk, aka Chow Chow, my tripod. And myself. Oh, you have a, a three legged cat? Nope, got uh, more than a stack. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm uh I'll be interested to see how many TLs we have in this world. I kind of feel like if I did stop to mark every cave and everything along the way, we'd never get moving. So I kind of want to just keep moving at the moment. Especially because it's already 1.45 in the afternoon and it is a medium rift night or day. So I don't want it to... Uh, I don't want to be out in the desert in the middle of the night with uh, rifts everywhere. I probably shouldn't run. I'm already getting hungry here. Uh, Angry Boy, you don't need a particularly good PC to run the game. Um, if you're going to be streaming and recording, you want something reasonably powerful. Um, but it's uh, 
It's designed to mostly run on potatoes. Okay, so we have pretty much all of the... Hello, Clay. All of the reeds that I need at the moment. And we'll replant these once we're over in our new home. Oh, hello. So here's a mod I have on. This is the uh, Terra Preta slash High Fertility Soil. Um, apparently is on fire mod. But it makes particles so you can tell where it is. Can I add a thing here? Thank you. HF Soil. And let's make you uh, green and this thing. And right over here. Oops, don't run. We don't have enough satiation to run. We have the tiniest patch of blue clay. All right, thanks, guys. Put in quotes. Yeah, we got full basket slots, but uh, not so much full stomach. That's going to be the next problem. Uh, come here. Give me that. Stop running. I just have this instinctive smash the run button reflex, and uh, it's not going to do me <laughs> any favors in this run, at least for the first couple days. What do we have around here? Nothing. Okay, we're getting into more limestone area. Uh, how's our inventory? Yes, we'll get some soybeans. So that we can die and drop them at whatever location we happen to be at the time. That's a hyena. I don't have any spears yet. I should make some, but I'm kind of more interested in filling my belly at the moment. And we're going to be very inefficient about this. And we're going to chow down on some raw amaranth. Where are you? There we go. Seven amaranth. That'll give us about 15 seconds <laughs> of food. Yum. Got a bunch of grain stuck in my teeth now. Hey, we have some flax here. Nothing we can eat. I will take it, though. I want the seeds. I think I see something there in the soil. Oh, we have peanuts, I think. Yeah, check it out. Growing peanuts. Of course, they're growing peanuts and not uh, a lot or mature ones, but whatever. Let's see if we get a seed or two. Oh, that's right. Termites. Uh, no, I don't use the player corpse mod. Um, the, I've seen some people have some issues with it, and I don't feel like tinkering uh, with it and having to uh, recover from its occasional glitches. It's one of the things where it's very handy, but uh, when it when it glitches, it glitches hard. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it is great to have... 10,000 subscribers. I, When I started the channel, I was just sort of noodling around like, hey, I'll make a fun little video or a couple videos and see where it goes. And bang, here we are uh, about two years later. Hey, hey, more excellent soil. I don't think I want to take it with me just yet. I mean, we are going to farm pretty early, but... Uh, Ah, oh, that's right, bamboo shoots. However, we've kind of moved away from the uh, jungle over there. You know, it might not be a bad idea to actually go to that jungle, so that we do have something to eat in the meantime. Uh, let's see, let's go... Mm, yeah, let's go toward the jungle. Which direction was that? This way. Back the way we came. Yeah, I think we'll probably need to set up camp here outside the desert for a night. 
while we finish picking up things to eat and early game resources. And they'll move into our final home. Stinky soil. Alright, let's give this a swim. If we really have to, we we could probably here's my blue clay. We could probably cook some of these papyrus roots. I'm not really jazzed about that. Yep, it's a little bit unstable here. A lot of deep water tends to be unstable. Alright, let's mark you. This is more useful, and that's blue clay. Some rice and some seeds. Let's try making it across this bay here and see if we can find something to eat in the jungle. I'll aim for where I see bamboo. Which would be over there. And over here too. I think this is a bigger patch. Hello everybody. Hello Fen Reliania. Hello, Dead Wolf, Hazard 151, Azure Lights. I haven't seen any fish yet, so I don't know. And now gear is spinning clockwise again. I'm going to try to make a fire here real soon and get a torch going because we're going to need that. And I'll probably just sleep the night here. Not the wildest fan of sleeping in the early game because uh, we're going to starve like crazy but it is still medium out so we might just have to I'm not wild about this new slower head movement in water thing though ah uh, food hello food Hello, reasonable amounts of food. Can I reach you? I can. I can't. <laughs> Alright, let's get this food stripped in here. Ah. Oh, that was a great idea, Andy. Just what the doctor ordered. Uh, made up name, yes. Uh, just was what your name was. <laughs> I just pronounced it out loud and realized what your name actually was. Uh, yes, this is my first stream ever. So I'm excited to be here. It's a new experience for me, that's for sure. And there goes knife number one. But actually, these are a really handy source of early game food. Like, I'm just realizing... Because with a few moments of cutting shoots, I had a full satiation bar. So I'm going to get a few more of these things. And a piece of grass or two. For some sleepage and some torchage. Very Sean Connery. Torchage. Oh, they don't expire. That's interesting to know. I did not realize that. Oh, man. I want to get that fire going here real soon. Let's see. Grass. Logs. And we need the thing everyone hates and forgets how to make, myself included. Ah, I got it this time. Okay. Let's get our very first fire going here. Oh, really? First try? It's unusual. <laughs> Alright, and we need to make our very first torch. Probably make two. 
and light these suckers up. Let's eat some of the junk food. And probably some of the rice. It is still medium. That makes me nervous. Let's get enough grass for a bed. Don't want to stray too far from the fire. Alright. That should hopefully be enough food for now. And I think we're going to actually dig a little hidey hole next to our fire here. Goes nice and deep, actually. Okay, we have space is at a bit of a premium here at the moment. Now I'll leave that in there. Why not? But let's uh, let's go ahead and lock ourselves in at the moment. So it is time for drifters to come out. And let's drop for bed. And we are one block underground and getting creepy music. There was someone asking about the creepy music on my Discord. And yeah, so all it takes is one layer and a sealed room, and you get the music. I'm going to take a moment here to take a look at the chat here. Kenneth Bennett is late. Oh no. <laughs> Baldus plays. Hey, thanks for watching the second guide season. It was uh, a lot of fun living in the Hobbit hole. Who else is here? Uh, Rob Enting. A lot of bamboo shoots. Yes, we are going to be good on food for hopefully a little while. <laughs> yeah, Volsi, I did end up streaming. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> and Azure Lights, welcome. Tech Neck, welcome. <laughs> I did make a grave. <laughs> Yes, I, I am playing with the Player Graves mod right here. Can't you guys tell? Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a bit of inventory. Ooh. What I could do, guys. Oh, no, I can't. I need, well, I need eight more papyrus for that. Would be to make a basket and put that on our back. Um, I think we're pretty well good on stuff at the moment. Yeah, I prefer to dump my fire starter and just keep a spare torch instead because it's... Like, it, you know, it always works. Whereas a fire starter takes, well, has, I think, a 20% chance to start a fire whenever you use it. I think that while we're here, I am going to dig up some of this medium fertility soil. I know we've got a bunch of high fertility, but especially in the early game, and I think even in general, honestly, medium is perfectly fine. Um, Terra Preta used to be really good because crops would take, like, a week to grow, like seven or eight days. Really? Well, we might not be sleeping after all. I might just uh, turn this into a clay forming night. <laughs> oh, thank you, Katie. Yeah, these are, um, this is my interior decorator coming out. As you can tell, I'm very, very advanced. I could even put like some clutter around. How do I do that? There we go. Look at that. Well, guys, thanks for coming to my house. This is the uh, this is the whole build. Uh, thanks for watching the stream. See y'all later. Just kidding, just kidding. But yeah, I think we're gonna spend the evening and most of the night getting some dirt resources because we need those in the desert and getting some clay. I probably won't lay form just yet, although they might take up less space if I do. Hmm. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, so it used to be that Terra Preta would seriously give you, like, three to four more harvests in a year, depending on your uh, your climate. 
And because the growing seasons are now like 18 plus days, the only time that I find Terra Preta really is handy is like in a greenhouse. And if you plant as early as you can uh, and harvest as late as you can in the fall, um, that gives like sort of an, one extra harvest, which is, which is great. Like one extra harvest nowadays is a ton because you get something like three or four more times the uh, output from crops that you did back in like 1.14 and so on. I guess I could make a shovel, couldn't I? That would be nice. But that's more inventory space, so... I'm gonna punch this clay to death. Yeah, early game voxel games are, uh... <laughs> basement dweller simulators, for sure. <laughs> I mean, Terra Preta is still good. Um, it's just like, it's not as good as it used to be in like older, older versions of the game. Like I'm talking two, three years ago. I think I want to get like, probably fill out this stack for now. And that will get us like our first bowl and cooking pot to be pretty essential. The nice thing is that with these bamboo shoots, we won't have to worry as much about, like, hunting gazelles and other odds and ends. Hey, Critical Pixel. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, it's uh, a new experience. <laughs> Uh, Kenneth, I haven't really decided yet. Um, oops, I got more than I wanted. Who oh, will? Um, there's there's a chance I might um, sort of return to at least recording on my own. It really depends on what you guys say, honestly. Um, I sort of could set up a schedule of every couple weeks. I do like a several hour stream and then probably chop that up into episodes for people to watch. Because I know, I know a lot of folks don't like long VODs. Um, I know I, I prefer to have like 45 minute ish episodes. Um, I don't know if you guys know Rodamont. I've been watching a lot of his stuff uh, where he will do like a stream on Twitch for anywhere from like four to 18 hours, which is I think <laughs> a little crazy. Um, but then he sort of, oops, don't axe that. But then he uh, cuts the episodes up or the streams up into about 40 ish minute segments and publishes those as regular videos. And I find that really enjoyable. Um, that way I can sort of pace myself. We'll round out this uh, stack of dirt. And then I think we'll sleep because it is still medium. I was hoping it would settle into like calm by now but nope no such luck you started over Amy where are you starting over <laughs> well I will say uh, starting over to find the right world seed is uh, is real um, I didn't do it in the first or second seasons um, I did do a lot of seed hunting for this season because I wanted to find a desert with the right color sand and so on. So, but yeah, there's a, there's a whole graveyard full of worlds in my recycle bin right now. Uh, two more. A fantasy race. Um, I haven't really thought of it. I mean, we are a fantasy race. We're a seraph. Um, Kurazar, canonically, in, in sort of my own personal lore, is uh, is an elf. Um, but we don't have elf ears, so I don't know. All right, let's... Let's see, we don't need the fire starter anymore. Let's go ahead and we're going to sleep till... There goes my food. Till like 4 a.m. Yeah, CO2 is, is fake. It's fake news, guys. CO2 isn't real. Trust me, I'm a scientist.
Well, everyone, that's going to about do it for this episode of Vintage Story Desert Life. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know by leaving a like and possibly a comment below. As always, my name has been Korazar. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.